Hey y'all, this is Southern Woods here. Welcome to another video. First video on the new iPhone 15 Pro Max camera. Yes, I have upgraded to hopefully further the channel and provide better content for y'all. Um, so this has the cinema cinematic mode. So this is what I'm gonna try to film with most of the day. You may be asking, what are we doing today? Well, it's kind of an overcast day. It's kind of warm out. Haven't really, uh, done much exploring outdoors in a minute um, and I figured with this brand new camera and its capabilities further beyond what I had prior I'll do something that I enjoy doing but I haven't done in a while which is just uh, some outdoor photography and uh, cinematography just going out filming things that I see interesting whether it be plants bugs um, rocks I don't know so we're just going on a little adventure today a little walk in the woods I may do a few different things with the camera to see and test its capabilities but uh, definitely give me your feedback and let me know if you're excited about the new camera with a thumbs up so we'll see what i film and what happens this is just a tree that uh kind of fell or got pushed aside onto the path i just thought i'd film it easy to get around and i'm sure people that do uh the four-wheeling will probably move it but i thought it was kind of cool in the way and i'm just filming shit so Probably a dog print, dog paw next to it. Some sort of shoe or boot print here on the uh, sandbar, sandbank. I don't know. It's just, it's so nice that I'm able to capture, you know, some things that you would use for tracking so easily on the camera. It's very nice. Look at the story that this little crossing in between shows you got some deer tracks crossing to get to the other side but you also have some probably coyote prints and then further back yeah possibly raccoon so just a, a lot of creatures are just traveling right across All right, I want y'all's opinions. Is this natural buildup on the creek or is this the work of a beaver? I honestly don't know, so let me know what y'all think in the comments. Man, gotta use nature sometimes to, uh, you know, be your prop and be your uh, tripod when needed. Also, man, it's kind of weird filming on the cinematic mode like this. I feel like my face is always kind of changing. It's kind of weird. Um, but I don't know. I just want to take a moment to appreciate nature. It's been a minute since I've really been outdoors and just kind of been by myself and taking it all in and purposefully looking at all the little nuances and details of life. And when you do that, it really makes you appreciate the world, in my opinion. Um, just the forest is just such a calming, rejuvenating place. At the same time, it's no matter how calm and serene it is, there's always just a sense of anxiety. And I wonder if anyone else shares that. Not like typical anxiety, but like you know, every once in a while you do feel like something's watching you or you do feel like a, a glimpse of dread in the air. And it's just kind of weird because for all 
that I love about nature and all that I take in and as gratifying as it is, there's always something in the back of my mind or on the, the tips of my hair that just kind of make you feel slightly uncomfortable. And I don't know, especially on an overcast day, um, definitely get those feelings. But yeah, I, I'm really digging the new camera, man. Um, obviously filming nature and natural uh, light or just filming a natural light in general is just uh, looks so much better on any camera. I'm sure it'll hit a little different in artificial lighting, but I'm very excited about this. And in a couple weeks, uh, Anthony Declan and possibly Tim and I are gonna go on just like an overnight camping trip somewhere in the woods. And I do plan on filming our little trip, but as well, filming several other videos while we're down in the woods. So I'm hoping that will be um, a pretty good trip for the channel, um, as well as just a little night to kind of let loose and um, enjoy ourselves. So anyways, I don't know. I just want to take a couple minutes to stand here and talk and enjoy this, this next chapter of the channel, really. Uh, things are starting to escalate in a good way i'm trying to i'm starting to get some momentum going and especially uh once i'm done with college here in a few months things are going to start happening and i'm really excited so i'm gonna get on with my little journey um for those listening glad i could just talk to you found this uh fork in the water Oh, must have been eating something good, then dropped it. Who lost a sinker? Man, I just want to take a minute to appreciate my brother, Anthony. He's so down to earth. Ain't that right? Right. Well, I uh, didn't do too much recording since the last time I decided to speak. Um, but I want to say a couple things before I end this video out. Uh, one, I didn't film this whole video in cinematic. Um, you could probably tell the difference between just normal 4K and cinematic 4K. Um, assuming this all processes in the uh, system properly and gets uploaded to YouTube in the same quality. Um, and also, as you saw, tried out the... Uh, the action video that actually worked pretty well that'll be nice for some future projects but overall i'm pretty excited um about having these capabilities i think it was worth the investment another thing i wanted to say just briefly is kind of just i was talking a little bit earlier about those anxieties of being in the woods you know for how good and calm and peaceful and um, grave an experience it could be there's also a little bit of that anxiety or creepiness on the back end that I think we all get all right some people may admit it or not but I think it uh I think there's two types of woods and I wanted to talk about that I think there's you know the actual deep isolated forests all right where there's miles and miles and miles of isolation and I think that gives you a different kind of uneasiness compared to the kind of woods that we're usually in which are these kind of urbanized um smaller sections of forest maybe surrounded by three or four neighborhoods um i think the premise of not knowing who's down here and having so many different bodies travel through at any given point um adds a different kind of uneasiness um in the back of your mind and i just wanted to speculate on that and see uh what y'all's opinions are if you want to go into the comments and talk about that maybe i'll talk more or dive deeper into that in a podcast or a different video with the boys. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, you know, we shot some cool little video clips of nature and talked a bit and enjoyed this, this new, um, technology. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Like, if you like this video, subscribe, if you want to join the Southern woods community, things are, getting good around here without further ado southern woods out